All right, YouTube. Scrap Man Industries here. All right, most of the time, I've been doing videos about ripping scrap apart, taking it to the scrap yard and whatnot. Well, this is gonna be a video showing you that not everything you find is gonna go to the scrap yard. All right, so what I have here, right there, is uh, some pieces of channel iron and angle iron that I found in a field somewhere. Uh, the, they're gonna be become a uh, junk car, tow bar, uh, how you might ask? Well, if you look over here in this corner here, I got some new stuff from the tractor supply. A coupler, some chains, uh, some chain hooks, and uh, chain binders. I'm going to weld this all together in like an A-frame type configuration. Put them chain hooks on these pieces of angle iron. And it's going to chain right to the front bumper of a scrap car. I would not recommend doing this uh, if you're trying to tow a car you don't want to go to the scrapyard. This will probably tear up your bumper and whatnot. Um, you can also, once I'm done with this, you should, if you make it long enough, you should be able to chain to other parts of the car. Like if you don't have a bumper, chain to the control arms, the rear axle, or whatever you want. So, uh, everything I'm doing, I'm running off of that generator over there. I already got everything cut with that hypertherm machine right there. And I'm going to be welding everything with that Hobart uh, Stickmate AC-DC machine. So, uh, everything's already cut. I'm going to get it all uh, laid out and whatnot. And uh, start welding. YouTube so that's the uh, finished product right there I went ahead and uh, finished folding that door in the dark I didn't get that on camera but I wasn't that great with uh, the 6013 and 7014 so uh, I just went over that with uh, 7018 and all the critical areas uh, each one of them hooks held on by 6010 and then a 6010 root pass and then a 7018 uh, Cover pass, uh, two cover passes, one, two. It's pretty much just held on by chains right there. Get your chain binders, secure all the uh, extra crap. This uh, piece of channel just sits right here on your bumper. I definitely would not recommend doing that on something you're trying to save because it's scratching the hell out of it. But uh, yeah, going to the junkyard. I think this thing works out great. I've gone, I've gone about two miles so far. No problems. Hopefully it stays that way.